Today, March 27th on Howard 360 TV, we will have a sneak peek of Mr. HHS. We'll have Harrington going around talking to students about what they'll be doing over spring break. We'll have Jimmy Kane teaching you guys how to throw a curveball. And last but not least, we'll have a little race live on Howard 360 TV. All that and more coming up. Now to Hannah and Mary Beth in the studio. Good morning, Howard. I'm Hannah Weaver, and this is our spring break edition of Howard 360. And I'm Mary Beth Miller. Thanks for tuning in. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the flag of the United States of America and, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Hey, Hannah. Have you heard about the upcoming Mr. Howard High School event? Yeah, but I don't really know much about it. Well, the event is April 9th from 7 to 9 in the Howard Auditorium. It's not your typical pageant. It's just nine of Howard's best guys singing, dancing, rapping, beatboxing, and even juggling to compete for the title of Mr. Howard High School. But that's enough from me. Let's take it to Brooke to learn more. Why did you sign up to be Mr. HHS? Um, I signed up simply why I wanted to be Mr. HHS. Because I think Mr. HSS has to be confident. I think he needs to be an athlete. I think he needs to be a role model in the school. You know why I'm here. No, I signed up because uh, I think Howard High School needs a guy who's got a lot of school spirit, who can be a role model. Who do you think has the most competition? Um, I think it would be Isaiah Stokes. He's a very musically talented, like myself. Honestly, I think it would be Elijah McBride. Because, you know, he's, not only is he a musician, but he's also a singer. My biggest competition is probably uh, Winston Delata Bodair III. Uh, you know, he taught me all my rapping skills. Why do you think the people should vote for you? I'm just here so I don't get fined. Because I'm a finesse guy. What you saying, man? Uh, I should win because I'm the next best white rapper out there. And, you know, I just need to make my debut somewhere, right? Why? You're like my dream come true. Two, I wanna be with you. I'm dropping these lyrics, you can see my vision. I'm spitting these bars like I swallowed a prison. for adults, but if you bring in any number of canned goods, you will receive one dollar off the ticket price. The donated items will be going towards HopeWorks Domestic Violence Center. Also, audience members will have a chance to vote for their favorite contestants. Don't forget to come out to this awesome event on April 9th from 7 to 9. So, Han, are you excited for spring break? Yeah, but I'm just planning on staying here and studying for my AP exams. Well, let's see how the rest of Howard is planning on spending their spring break. Hey, Howard, it's Harrington from Howard 360. We went out on the school and asked what people are going to do for spring break and how they're going to enjoy their time off. If you could go anywhere for spring break, where would you go and why? Back home in New Jersey because, uh, you know, a lot of things to do over there and it's fun. Good food yeah. and all that stuff. Um, I'd probably go to the Bahamas because it's nice there, nice yeah. weather. Um, probably Miami because it's pretty turned over there, so yeah. Would you rather go to a game to see some Howard baseball or Howard lacrosse? Uh, I think I'd go uh, to see some lacrosse because, you know, I got my man uh, Michael Travisano on the lacrosse team. Probably Howard baseball because, I mean, I know a little bit about baseball. Yeah. Howard lacrosse. I know more about lacrosse. What's your least favorite color? I don't know. Probably brown. It don't look right. Uh, I'd probably say uh, yellow. Oh, red. Or green. Thanks, Howard. It looks like your spring breaks will be a lot of fun. Well, Hannah, if you still can't find anything to do over break, you should check out some of Howard's sports teams in action. Isn't the Carl Wolf lacrosse tournament this Saturday at Rockburn? Yeah, and you can also come out and watch Howard's top-ranked baseball team. Let's go to Silas to learn more about them. But first, here's some last-minute announcements. Attention Howard High School. Our school needs leaders. Take charge and pick up your student government application in Mr. Webster's room, N209. Applications are due the Tuesday we return from break. Let's go Lions. Today, March 27th, is the last day to buy tickets for the Orioles game. You can come to the JRO TC, TC building E104 during break to buy your tickets. See you there. 
Help greet the wish of a child in need by purchasing a Howard High School Make-A-Wish t-shirt. Place your order during lunch this week. Please see Ms. Allen if you have any questions. Now let's go check out Howard Baseball. Hi Howard, I'm Sasha Stein. I'm here with Jimmy Cannon of the Howard Baseball team. He's going to uh, show us how to throw a curveball. Alright, so you want to get a lot of pressure on your middle finger on the seam. And then just whip it down and you'll get that curve in action. Yeah, I hope so. Respect to Hannah and Mary Beth in the studio. Jimmy and Silas, good luck to Howard Baseball with the rest of their season. I can't wait to come out and watch Howard play. To wrap up today's show, we have all of the SGA presidents in the studio for a special class versus class race. That's right, Hannah. I'm here with your class presidents, Carla for the seniors, Sydney representing the juniors, Sam for the sophomores, and Marie for the freshmen. Each class drew a wind-up toy to use in the race, and the first toy to reach the blue finish line wins. Cheer on your class, Howard. Let's get started. Racers, wind up your toys. <laughs> Take your marks. Oh get set. Go. <laughs> no! It looks like... <laughs> Looks like the juniors win. <laughs> well, that's all we have today for you, Howard. Have a great spring break, and don't forget to come out to Mr. Howard High School on April 9th. Have a fearless, fabulous Friday, Howard.